by being in the clubhouse, you know, holding guys accountable. Uh, one of the guys, too, that always kept you loose and had some fun. He, he, you can't say enough great things about him. And it wasn't just for me. It wasn't the rookies. It was the veterans. He made everybody be accountable. But he also let us know that, hey, you got to have some fun, but you got to play the game hard. We had a little run in where he says, you know what, see, I didn't think you ran hard there. We're a team, and you have to run everything out, and that is why I just have the most respect for him and one of my all-time favorite teammates. Did you feel the culture begin to shift when he came over from the Seattle Mariners? No, I, I think it did, and I know it did because we we started to have a different swag about ourselves. We started to believe that we could win, and any time that you start to believe it, then obviously you know you can achieve it. All right, Craig Monroe will be back in the studio with Shannon Hogan for the Tigers live post game show. Hopefully talking about a <laughs> Tigers win. Stay with us. The full house here at Comerica Park will rise as one. Many great teams and many great players. But one of their greatest team players was number nine, Carlos Guillen. With every gritty play, with every new position, with everything he did both on and off the field, for Carlos, what always came first was the team. Carlos came to Detroit in 2004. In the first of three All-Star seasons, he led the Tigers in RBIs, runs, doubles, triples, total bases, and slugging percentage. But for Carlos and for the team, the best was yet to come. In 2006, he was a postseason powerhouse as he helped lead the Tigers through the playoffs and to their first World Series appearance in 22 years. During his eight seasons in a Tigers uniform, Carlos will always be remembered for his clutch hitting, his steady defense, and for his determined leadership on the field and in the locker room. Carlos, we, we certainly thank you for everything you did for this organization. And I'm uh, proud to have been your manager. We shared a lot of wonderful times together, and I wish you nothing but the best. Gideon hits it into deep left field. For one more time, let's all honor the ultimate team player, number nine. Game over! Carlos Gideon. Very happy to host his family tonight as well. Please welcome his wife, Amelia, and one of his children, Camelia, to Comerica Park. Now, tonight's first presentation is in recognition of Carlos' career and what it has meant to the history and legacy of Latino baseball. The Hispanic Heritage Baseball Museum is proud to announce the election of Carlos Guillen into their Hall of Fame. <laughs> Carlos now joins great Latino players such as Luis Aparicio, Omar Vizquel, Orlando Cepeda, Edgar Martinez, and Fernando Valenzuela in the Hispanic Heritage Baseball Museum Hall of Fame. And here to present Carlos and his family with his Hall of Fame plaque, please welcome founder, president, and CEO of the Hispanic Heritage Baseball Museum, Tito Avila. Please join us in congratulating Carlos on this wonderful acknowledgement of his fantastic major league career. And second, in recognition of his career with the Tigers and what he has meant to this team, the Metro Detroit community and to his teammates, infielder Ramon Santiago, will now unveil this special gift. This framed jersey featuring a patch of the Venezuelan flag and the number nine that Carlos wore throughout his career with the Tigers is accompanied with a photograph of Carlos at bat and a special plaque that reads, presented to Carlos Guillen by the Detroit Tigers in celebration of your significant accomplishments on the field and to the game of baseball. You have carried on a tradition of Venezuelan baseball excellence that has influenced generations of players. Carlos, the Detroit Tigers. Our fans and all of our players appreciate all that you have done, and we wish you all of the best in your future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, join us once more as we salute all is number nine, Carlos Guillen. We say to Carlos Guillen, muy bien, and welcome back to Detroit. Tigers and Indians upcoming when we come back. We'll take you upstairs, Mario and Rod, to set up tonight's game on this warm Saturday night at Comerica Park as we celebrate Fiesta Tigres.
downtown.